Hey, welcome to Technically Nerdy, where we get nerdy about all sorts of really cool, awesome things like pop culture, automobiles, and yes, vacuums. We're going to get nerdy about this vacuum and find out if this Miko meets the challenge and can vacuum all the things I need to vacuum, and we're going to we're gonna do it right now. Right now! I'm going to use this pancake flipper, and I'm going to cut the tape. There we go. This was sent to me for review because I have some vacuuming needs, and... The nice people that sent it said, well, here, try this out. The Miko Rechargeable Handheld Vacuum Cleaner. And look at that. That is a manual teaching you how to vacuum. And inside the box, we have the vacuum. Ooh, look at that. It's wrapped in plastic. That's fantastic. I rhymed. Also a Barbie song. Here's some accoutrement. Some, some things. Oh, and the base. And, oh, a carrying case, in case I want to take it places. And uh, this is a brush for cleaning that's recyclable. I do want to make mention, let's see. It's four in one, wet or dry, an electric indicator of battery life, two levels, uh, Roman numeral one and Roman numeral two, low noise and two filtering. It's got two filters. So I think what we need to do is take a look at this. This looks like an interesting vacuum. I mean, I'm old. I grew up around the Dustbuster age. And so I, I have an idea of how these things work. And uh, it vacuums up and then this kind of filters it just right there. And then what's kind of interesting, these always have some sort of little um, thing. So it goes in, uh, but it can't goes out. Uh. And look at that. It works. It's got 50% battery right out of the box. Um, it's got a lot of these. Look at that. It's got this, this fine vacuum attachment. This is like the super filter right here. I would imagine one of these is probably because it's wet dry. So one of these filters is going to be for the wet. One is going to be for the dry. Here is uh, you know, another thing. I don't know. I'll have to look at these after I read the directions. But first, we need to find out if it vacuums. And let's just... Let's just put this to the side. Okay, so I need I need some crumply trash. Here's what we got. I've got these uh, Girl Scout cookies because I think we have to have some in here. Mm -hmm. I'm eating it and oh no, oh no, Sean, it made a mess. Don't make a mess. Oh, dang it. Oh, and I stepped on it. Oh no, oh no. And Godzilla was like rah, rah, rah. We have a mess. Thankfully, we have this Miko vacuum. So here we go. Here we go. Oh, I have to hold it down. I hold it down. Okay. Oh, maybe maybe it is out of battery. Oh, it just went down. Maybe for these tests, we need to plug it in. Maybe. It showed 50% on the battery. Let's see if it can vacuum and charge at the same time. Okay, it does, it does so show charging right there. That's cool. You can't vacuum and charge at the same time. I'm very sad about that. It tells me 50%. Okay, the lights light up at 50% and then it just doesn't work, which leads me to believe it's not actually giving me an accurate charge representation. That's fine, let's charge it for five minutes. I'm gonna go read a book. We're back, it's been maybe 10 minutes. 10 minutes, Sean? Like five. Like five minutes. And it's been charging. And if I remove the charge cord and I turn it on, it tells me the battery's at 50%. So let's see, turn up high speed. And it died. <laughs> cool. It's now been on the charger for 15 minutes, I would say. And it's still blinking like it's charging, which is great. We're going to remove this, and we're going to take care of this mess. One, two for high speed. Here we go. Okay. It's cleaning it up. Cookie crumbs seem to be no match for this vacuum. Okay. Look at that. We got the big chunks and they're actually held 
right in there. So there they are. I have to find the adapter. Okay. Look at that. Oh, and we've run out of battery. Okay. <laughs> well, look at this. It looks like it was able to pick up the mess pretty well. And if we take this part off and we take the filter out and I hold out my hand, there's all the cookie crumbs right there. So we were, we were able to pick up some cookie crumbs with the limited amount of battery that we had. So now the idea is to put it on the charger for longer. And let's see, we're gonna tackle the stairs and my car. See you in a bit. Ten bucks if you eat the cookies. The crumbs. They're soft cookies. Of course I'm going to eat them. I want ten bucks. We're here on the floor. It's behind my workbench, and there's some crap on the floor here. I'm going to zoom in, just in, you know, filament scraps and whatnot. We're going to see if this bad boy can pick them up. That's not bad. Oh, we got some filament scraps in there. So let's take it to the stairs. Okay, we're on the stairs. Hey, and oh no, there's crumbs on the stairs. Let's see if we can get them. Hey, look, just like that. We got some cookies right there. Okay, last test. Oh, last test. Last test is the car. You can kind of see right here, this is the, the passenger footwell. And what I'm gonna do is put this one on and I should be able to, well, let's see. So the gum wrappers and stuff, we can just kind of get over there and that rock, we don't need the rock. But, let's see if we can clean up some of this. And now we can put on the furniture one. It's not bad, it's got some of the hairs from the car. And, man, it got a lot of crud from inside the car. Well, that's great, all right, let's take it inside and wrap it up. Ooh, a bonus level. That's a little tuft of dog hair. We still have the vacuum. Let's turn it on. There we go. Dog hair taken care of. Well, we're back from the outside in our little bonus right near the stairs. Let's take a look and see what this has collected. I did put the HEPA filter in and look at it, it's full of hair. Okay, wow. So that's all the dust. There's some dog hair, there's the treats. No, I'm not eating those, Sean, I'm sorry. The vacuum did pick up quite a bit of stuff. It may be that the charging circuit will more reliably tell you the actual percentage of battery left once it's gone through a full charge or two or so. But until then, I'm gonna have to knock some points off for that battery. Uh, it's available on Amazon. I think uh, it did exactly what a vacuum is supposed to do. It picked up stuff. I'm used to a bigger vacuum, something with a beater bar, something that you can roll over the carpet and pick up all the stuff. This is great for the quick fixes. This is the dust buster that uh, I really needed in the studio. So if you're interested in something like this, I can tell you that it did what it was supposed to do. And if you want to look further, there is a link in the description. Thanks for watching us here on Technically Nerdy. Be sure to stay tuned for more nerdy things. And don't worry, you'll see Sean's smiling face soon enough. We'll see you on the next one. Keep it nerdy.